let's see how we can add custom tooltips to our items and blocks. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we're we'll back in chat once more. And in this tutorial, we'll be adding custom tooltips to both an item as well as a block. Very interesting things indeed. So let's just see how that is going to work. And you'll be surprised that this is actually more straightforward than you might think. Because what we can do is we can simply override a method and then the custom tooltip is going to appear. We're going to sort by actually adding it to the custom block and then we'll go from there. So in our custom block class, so in this case you need a custom block class, or will although I will show you a way you, that you can do this without a custom class in just a second. But for the time being, we're going to override the append hover text method over here. So simply write append, we can hit tab to autocomplete it, and there we go. And what we can do here is, well, we can literally just say p tooltip components dot add. So this is just a list of components, as you can see, that we're adding like components to. So we can say p tooltip components dot add, and then component dot translatable and then this is a translation key the same key we've been using for translating our item names and our block names in our en underscore us json file so this is going to be the same type of key in our case we're going to say tooltip dot tutorial mod dot magic underscore block and then just dot tooltip here in this case there you go and literally with that, we would already have, if we hover over a magic block instead of an inventory, we would then see this crazy stuff, right? Tooltip.tutorialmod.magicblock.tooltip, right? However, of course, we can translate this. So we can take the key right here that we've defined in the translatable, and we can actually copy it with the, with the quotation marks. We can paste it in here, and then we can say, you know, this block is quite magical, right? For example, and... For this, you can also add some amount of formatting. So if you put down a paragraph symbol, I know not a lot of uh, keyboards have that on there because I've got the German keyboard. I actually have that. I will put it in the description below so you can either just copy it over or literally just, you know, Google paragraph symbol and then you're going to find this. And we're going to make this the paragraph 9 over here. And then here we're going to do paragraph R to reset the formatting. That is going to make this magical blue, if I recall correctly. I'll also link a great article on that in the description below. So you can double check when, when it comes to the formatting and stuff. Right, the same way goes, right, with the append hover text method in, for example, a custom item class. Right, so in our chisel item over here, we can do the same thing, append hover text method. And here we're going to do just a little bit more. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that you, if when you hover over the chisel item, it's going to say press shift for more information. And then when you hold down shift, then it's going to give you more information. So to do that, it is super simple. Inside of the append hover text method, we're going to say if screen dot has shift down, then we're going to do one thing and else we're going to do another thing, right? And the things that we're going to do as well, we're going to add, of course, a tooltip component over here, p tooltip component dot add component dot translatable. This is going to be tooltip dot tutorial mod, and there's going to be chisel dot shift down, let's say, right? So then we know, okay, this is the one where we have shift down pressed, and then we can just copy this over to the else as well. And here we're going to do just this one right so there's just the chisel without the shift down when it comes to the keys here you can of course define them however way you want right but it's definitely recommended to start with something like tooltip and then here add your mod idea as well then you're definitely going to make sure that those are completely and fully unique with this done let's just copy this over as well and let's just see so we're going to copy this one and the other one without it and then this is going to be uh, so this is when we actually have press sh like shift press down and the other one is when we do not have this so in this case we're going to say press and then when once again do a little bit of a uh, formatting over here press shift for more information there we go and then here we're going to say let's say this item changes certain blocks you know i mean that it, it definitely describes it right and I mean, that's pretty good. One thing to also note, if you want to make a line break, right? I know a lot of people are like, oh, I can just do the, uh, you know, this one, right? Backslash N. No, that does not work. If you want a line break, literally just add another component, right? This is a list. Obviously, you can add as many components as you'd like. So just keep that in mind. You can literally just add another component and that's then going to make a new line. 
And then lastly, I also want to show you if you're like, oh, but I really want to give my Kohlrabi over here a, you know, a, a hover text, right? I want to give a, to like a tooltip there. What can I do here? Well, you can make an anonymous class. If you're unsure what that is, highly recommend it to go back to Java just a little bit. But basically, we can make an anonymous class right here. So after the new item, right, we just put in the curly brackets. And now inside of the curly brackets, we can override any method that we could, well, that, that is exists in the item class, right? So it's the same thing that we had here, just that it's sort of in line where we're actually registering this. So if I start typing in append hover text, you can see I can literally just override this right here. And then I can literally just say p tooltip components.add and I can add a component.translatable here. Once again, tooltip.tutorialmod. Call Rabi in this case, and I think that that's actually going to be fine. And we can also get that one translated over here. Basically, good to always use the translatable component. And then this is going to be the also this is a written wrong. It's the Call Rabi, not the Co Rabi. There you go, Call Rabi. And this is going to be this tastes great, something like that. You know, there you go. And that would be also a way that you can do this with an anonymous class, right? So that would work as well. And those are sort of the I don't want to say three ways because pretty much it's just overriding the append hover text method in different contexts, right? Once it's in the block, like in the block class, once it's in the item class, and once it's basically also in the item class just with, as an anonymous class, basically. But yeah, those are basically the different ways to add the tooltips. Uh, like I said, there are different ways of formatting here with the paragraph symbols. Let's just go into the game, see this for the first time, and yeah, see if it works. All right, fans, I was back in Minecraft. And let's take a look over here. So if I were to hover over the text, you can see this block is quite magical. And you can see it is, well, basically colored blue. That is really cool. If I hover over the chisel, you can see press shift for more information. And if I hold down shift, it changes to this item changes certain blocks. And of course it does. Uh, do I even have a block that changes? I do not right now. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That works. And the Kohlrabi also, this tastes great. So you can see the hover, well, the hovering and the tooltips work totally fine, including the different formatting. This can be really useful if you have really complicated uh, blocks or items, right? Custom items that do certain things but that you just need to describe a couple of things there. I always recommend it just to add a bit of a tooltip. That is always pretty freaking cool. And also, I mean, it just looks nice, right? Like having some sort of formatting and things like press shift for more information. That's just a cool thing indeed. But yeah, that is how easy it is to add some custom tooltips to Minecraft. Awesome. As always, all of the code is available down below, so you can double check that. And next time in this video, we'll talk about custom tags. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.